Hello, hello, and welcome once again. Jay76NY here, playing the historic battles on Grand Tactician Civil War as the Union. We are up to the Battle of Perryville. Perryville, Kentucky, October 8th, 1862. It's the culmination of the Confederate Heartland Offensive, or the Kentucky Campaign. Uh, basically what it was was Buell had been chasing Braxton Bragg and Edmund Kirby Smith around Kentucky for quite some time and uh, things finally came to a head at Perryville when uh, some of their uh, scouts or uh, foraging parties stumbled on each other while they were looking for water. A uh, strange thing about the battle is there was some type of acoustic anomaly and even though the battle was raging, Buell, who wasn't too far away, heard nothing. No muskets, no cannons, anything. Um, it's listed as a Confederate tactical victory here, despite the fact that uh, we outnumber them by a uh, hundred miles. Um, Buell did get pushed back, and I do believe he was relieved of his command uh, immediately following this. We are going to go into battle with McCook, Brittenden, and Gilbert. Well, Braxton Bragg and his eyebrow have the Bishop, Leonidas Polk, and William Hardy. So, let's get into it. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Battle of Perryville. Third Corps under Gilbert is within three and a half miles of Perryville, the cavalry being near perhaps two and a half. From all the information received today, it is thought that the enemy will resist our advance to Perryville. We're said to have a strong force in and near the place. We expect to attack and carry the place tomorrow. General Bragg has halted at Perryville and is deploying his infantry. Due to delayed movement of 1st and 2nd Corps, the attack planned for 3 a.m. is delayed until October 9th. All Corps are to avoid general engagement on before the necessary preparations have been done and all Corps deployed. General Sheridan is ordered to seize Peters Hill after a skirmish between 10th Indiana and Rebel Pickets. All right. Peters Hill. is nowhere in sight. Confederates do hold uh, most of the objectives here. That hill. Yeah, well, whatever. All right, so who do we have on the field right now? We have our third core. We have Sheridan here. He's supposed to. Find it. Peter's Hill. I did see something. There it is. Peter's Hill. And what's it up here? All right, that's fine. So Sheridan's going to move up to Peter's Hill. Because it's Doctor's Creek, but we'll go there anyway. Uh, then we'll get the 1st Division. Uh, 
Uh, where do we want to go? Some objectives down here. Well, I think I'm going to focus on running right up the middle. Possibly send uh, maybe one division or so or less down here. So we've got first movement. Here. Bring you up here in the north. Although getting across this might be kind of a problem, which it is going to be, so... We've got this one road we can go across, and then we're going to have to come up here and uh, cross here. But we can uh, snatch up these objectives if need be. Uh, oh, crap. Let's just forget I did that. Get you up. This. Good to have Cav out on the flank. And uh, we're looking at three hours for Crittenden and two hours for McCook. So we'll hold position right along here. Until the other uh, corps arrive. All right, everyone's here. Uh, we've got one cavalry um, brigade out here that decided to come at us. We're gonna send. We're gonna send Stedman over to deal with them. So what I've done is, oh, Cav is a going to need to fall back here. I sent this cab out to uh, take some of the objectives and the enemy came up and uh, started pressing us here. 727. Actually this mount I don't know why it's uh... oh where are you going? Long way. Turn around. Or fight him. I don't want you to charge, I just want you to fight him. But if you're gonna charge, get on your horses. There you go. Go ahead, charge him. Don't feel like it, I guess. Uh, we have... A cook. Coming down from the north. And, uh... Crittenden and the 2nd Corps coming up from the, uh, south here. But it does look like they're coming across the river at us, so... Gotta get you up here fairly quick, my friend. Give that order there. Right, Kev, fall back. <clears throat> Seems the situation has changed. They're gonna end up breaking. Up oh, there they go. Well, I guess we can try and rally them. Here comes the uh, courier to tell them not to charge, to fall back. Warrior's gonna get killed. Yeah, they're not there anymore, buddy. Alright. Enough screwing around here. Once the uh, situation develops a little bit, I will be back.
Right, we've engaged that cavalry brigade that's come up to us. Taking a surprisingly large amount of casualties given the uh, fact we're in cover and they're not. Uh, these guys have recovered enough I could probably send them down to aid. We've also got a cavalry brigade that's coming up. They're winded and they're cut off. Let's uh, get them off their horses. We're going to come in behind them. Have you dismount as well? Taking on the cab. I slow this down a little bit here. I think they just noticed these guys coming up behind them. Uh, we are fully engaged in the north, though. Didn't quite notice that. up. There's a cab over here. Have you shift out this way? And have you come up flank? Alright, our guns are opening up on them. That's what I like to see. The guns are opening up on us, too. Get them, then we can sweep down on the other brigade or the other battalion. All right, they're engaging us over here as well. Guys are taking a little bit to get into position. Cavs holding its own against uh, our forces over here. Push them up a little bit. How many casualties have they taken? 41. It's not that good. because we're on the other side of this hill here where nope, they can see us.
All right, Smith's out in the lead, so we're going to bring him up first. Can you come up right here? Oh, where are you going? These guys are all moving. We come up like this. How are we looking up north? Well, we lost all of our artillery, it looks like. Just getting skunked up here. Well, Cook's whole brigade, or his whole division, or corps, just pretty much fell to pieces. guys back actually have them fall back we need getting them all killed I guess they're all breaking anyway lost all the guns up there and you fall back at least outside of artillery range like they're coming down the south. Should have dealt with this cavalry by now. Try and rally all our men. The left just collapsed. fall back. I believe how poorly it's going here. <clears throat> I'm 
but obviously main body is up here. Get ready to uh, face them from the north. him positioned like this. Seven point six percent for them, five point four for us. Bad showing right off the bat. Are they pushing up on us over? Doesn't look like they are. about this uh, cavalry broken down here and you guns are moving up I think we finally dealt with this cav Join your uh, the bunch you over here. fast as I'd like to see. Covered it all. Doesn't look like it. Here, if they come up over this hill, we should have good sight on them. Good's happening. Uh, no. Up 
confuse roads. Try and get these guys out of here before they uh, fall to artillery fire. Slow. D2 move in on him. I get three. I think we got a recovered unit under here, or maybe not. him. Howitzers. Got our Napoleons firing on them. Send someone out to get the see if we can get those guns back. Right, he's starting to recover. Let's get him over here. using the roads, that's why. Get up with your man. They've got a thousand men holding off a... Uh, it's gonna be three brigades. These guys are recovered enough, they should be able to move up. Have them on our left. I 
really caused a lot of casualties in this uh, aid here. It's holding the uh, Springfield Pike. to do something about these guns that are in the woods. All right, they're putting skirmishers out against us now. I guess we could send some of our own skirmishers. He broke just standing over on the fence. Actually, we're going to have to get this entire army over on this side here. I don't know why he hasn't started moving yet. Maybe he'll come up on the left. Because he's stable, but I don't think he can move for some reason. have you send out some skirmishers to go grab that objective over there. Grab Perryville itself. How's it looking up north? Have the 9th Brigade come down and assist these skirmishers. These guys spread out a little bit. Let's 
surrounded in the woods back here. I'm gonna have you come over here just because I don't think this site's gonna last much longer. Uh, guns. These guys are finally starting to move. And we're starting to collect over here, so good thing. Get up on this fence. On the nine hundred men. Okay, they put out some more skirmishers. They're coming at us with the artillery over here. No guns. Face. I don't want you coming out. All them back. We're sending a third detachment back out at, after us. Get you up with your 2,000 men. Here. He's almost in position. Really need to start moving these guys up towards uh get you right up on the objective. We we'll get the artillery up there first. Nothing wrong with that. What are you doing? Up there. All right. Infantry come out here and then put these guys back on their horses. Thirteen hundred men, they look to be doing okay. They push up.
No rallying him. Oh, what are you doing? Still standing there? Hey, commander. Not even seeing the command line. Oh, there it is. Way up here. Where it's taking so long to get down there. on for dear life and credit for that. Now up here. Mania's reformed detachment is Causing us uh, any number of problems out here. Another artillery firing on us from over here. Uh, we're gonna end up dying fast. Nothing we can do about that artillery either. I think they're all breaking the flank of this uh, one brigade. And we got this guy down here waiting to do his best. Have you attack him. Hope these guys don't notice you're going past them. Took the objective there. This entire need to get you across. Not sure what these guys are doing over here. Where are you going? Leading from the rear, I guess. Good job, skirmishers. We'll get Crawford. Eighteen point six percent. Get in the range. Cav. Confident. We'll get those guns. steal their guns. See if the cab gets in there in time before they get blasted in the face. Do it. Do it up, cab. Stay 
Stedman. Disappointing, man. All right, these guys need to uh, are set to move up here. Guys are set to move up here. All right, our artillery captured that. Skirmishers are already out doing the work of the Lord over there by themselves. Have you just had some skirmishers? Maybe. Go. Grab this, uh, grab that objective up there. Get up here. Oops, left our cab out in the open. And we can ref ref uh, form up a decent line and come up to uh, aid our forces up here in the north because they're having problems. I think that, whoop. Powell's brigade whipped. The enemy brigade under Captain Powell was thoroughly whipped. Sweet. Oh, we just wiped out that whole force. All right, guys. Get up. On the double quick. They're starting to react to us being down here too. Double quick. Here's our uh that's our cab. Oh no, it's one of our brigades. We're retreating right through the line. And you need to recover right now. Got these guns right way out here in the open. All the good you could do. Unfortunate. I think we have another other brigade down here. It's recovered. Maybe not. Come on, Buell, get up there with your boys. whole brigade over here. Brigade and artillery. Well, if they come to us, I guess we have to don't have a choice but to do something about them. Here comes our detachment. The other detachment is taking Crawford. Should be anyway. Where'd our cab go? I got a plan for our cab over here. Guns firing off in the distance there. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go into day two here pretty soon. Carnage of battle right there. A lot of dead bodies up here. Most of them mine. 
from the looks of it, there's some Confederates right there. Oh, we're engaged. Meanwhile, up on this hill. Oh no! <laughs> Stewart's detachment. Not taking any casualties at all. Firing. Starting to close in on them from both sides. Get you get moved up. I think they chased our skirmishers away. Or maybe we just haven't taken that objective yet. Oh, we're still working on this one up here. Guess it's going pretty slow with the skirmishers. That's all right. Almost taking that one. Stedman's still screwing around down here. doing too bad. That Sheridan's artillery there. Uh, no. Right, halt right here. Start shooting at him. There we go. I guess we came across some guns. took this objective, we've got 750 moving in on us. Shoot him. Nice sunset. Don't let them take your hard-earned gains there, skirmishers. Go ahead and open up. Shoot. Go ahead and shoot him. Anytime, guys. Uh. Oop. Charge. Maybe. Would work better. Mitt Romney. 
Sheridan's the only one that's actually doing what I want. With those low on ammunition. Ten rounds left. Alright, move up. Our detachment back. Cavalry. See if you can sneak up on them. I think they're all starting to waver. My guys are just getting slaughtered with our the artillery fire. Let's pull them back. Meanwhile, these guys have recovered. At least for the time being. Pull them back as well. Come on, Van Cleve, get your guys moving. This mess over here. They're still coming out at us, though. Jones's brigade of 675. everyone up here. Oh. Gav's trying to be sneaky. Get up around these guns. Here comes uh, this brigade re retreating back in the other direction. Ammo's getting pretty low up here. His lost resilience is gone. Sure, still haven't taken this uh, objective over here. Low going. Uh, you guys. Might as well have you come up over here. These guys can take that one over there. You can come up and take this one. Not going bad. Like the cab made it into place. Hard. 
charge, charge those guns. Now it's a major victory. 29%. Yeah, did really good. Impressed with them. Who do we have to shoot? They're all... They're all up here. Right? Fine. Uh, Sheridan... Have you get up like this. Getting there. See how our cab's doing up here. Just wiped out them. Go after them now. Granted, he's probably got about 3,000 routing confederates around him, but charge those guns. Say goodbye. There you go. Right, come up here. Actually, come over here. Uh, where are you going? Hey, enemies retreating. There we go. All right, major victory for us. Gonna fight it out here for a little bit. and shoot them. Sheridan, same thing. Mitchell, same thing. Everyone just go after that clump right there. I wonder if I could charge my cavalry right into them. Break them all with a cavalry charge. Maybe hoping for a little much. We got still have some brigades here. Right, dismount. Skirmishers took the objective. Uh, these guys still haven't taken the objective over here. Maybe they're eating like dinner or something at this farm. There goes a courier. A couple couriers. All right. Oh, guys, you can do it. Got one objective we haven't taken. And these guys over to take that. Oh, we're not. Alright, so uh, 4,400 of 15,000. That's uh, roughly a fourth of their army. Uh, took all their guns. We lost uh, half of our guns. That's pretty bad. Uh, we still lost a good amount, but... It was enough to uh, carry the day at the Battle of Perryville. Good job, Don Carlos. You shall remain in command of your army. Will not take it from you. Okay, so that's going to do it for the Battle of Perryville. Next up in our historic series is going to be Stones River or Second Murfreesboro. Um, might be a little bit before I get to that one because I... Yet to find the book, the second book, in the style that I want. So I'm looking around for that so I can pick that up and get reading. Uh, and then we can move on through. Um, I think the uh, second book goes up to. Uh, 
goes up to Chickamauga. Not entirely sure, but second book's going to have a lot of big battles, so looking forward to that. If you don't want to miss any of those battles, hit the subscribe. If you have any tips, thoughts, or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to help out the, uh, the video, the channel, and the series, get some exposure on YouTube, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you when we pick this up in Stones River. Day 76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.